좋대요. <웃음>Hi my darlings, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Cindy from the travel blog IO Wander. I make videos about expat life in South Korea as well as other travel adventures, so be sure to hit that subscribe button. So in today's video, I'll be talking about a hot topic that everyone seems to want to get the inside scoop on, and that's dating in Korea. I mean, Korean guys are hot, right? So people just want to know like how to snag themselves a sexy opa. So I'll be talking about all the places that you should avoid looking if you're searching for that ultimate, perfect Prince Charming. Now if you're just looking for some fun and then that's a whole other story but if you're seeking like that fairy tale romance out of a K-drama then these places probably aren't your best bet. Uh, and I'll also be spilling the beans on some of my personal like dating stories. Uh, I have some family watching on here so gotta keep it PG. Uh, and then make sure you stick to the end because I'll also be letting you guys in on what I think is the best method for meeting a decent guy in Korea. So just a quick, like, quick backstory. Prior to moving to Korea, I typically didn't really date Asians. I just didn't really meet any in real life that I vibed with. Uh, and then basically I moved to Seoul and did like a complete 180. And I went through like this whole Asian phase basically. <laughs> um, yeah, and then like Korea, there's like a huge dating culture there, right? I'm talking about like from couple, like matching outfits to couple rings to like seating arrangements made just for couples and um, all the holidays like pepperoni day white day i mean even christmas is like a holiday for couples and um like the pda it's less risque but at the same time it's like more in your face so basically if you're single in korea you're going to feel super single and um like i think this is probably why like a lot of the younger koreans they tend to not stay single for long they'll jump from like one relationship to the next and even like some of my students will come to me and talk to me about their dating dilemmas like they'll be like oh you know i'm the only one single in the class like blah 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 stuff like that um yeah so it's pretty insane there uh yeah so enough of that let's jump right into my list Okay, yes, I joined Tinder, but before you judge, Tinder was actually quite a popular dating app in Korea. Like, it supposedly wasn't as sleazy compared to the States, and people on there actually used it for dating and not solely just hooking up. So this was actually my first time ever trying, like, a dating app, like, ever. So, like, the beginning, it was quite bizarre, like, swiping through guys. Like, the whole process just felt so vain. Like, I felt like I was, like, shopping for meat at a grocery store or something. So the whole experience in itself was, very interesting and um, I came across some wild things on there uh, and I would say that the majority of times like nothing really amounted out of it you know the messages would just stay in the app and you know the conversations would just die out uh, but there were a few guys that I did meet in person and you know had some fun memories others not so great uh, but all in all I would say you know now that I've tried it that the majority of guys on there they're definitely just looking for something casual like nothing serious and most of the guys guys they will tell you like right off the bat like and they're pretty direct on what they want and you know what they're looking for but there are those guys that will put up this whole facade and they'll tell you everything that you want to hear but eventually you'll find out that they have the same ulterior motive like it all boils down to the same thing if you get what i mean um yeah and then there's also quite a number of expats on there so if you're just looking specifically for koreans then you know there's a bigger selection that you need to like rummage through You have a girlfriend? No, 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 ex-girlfriend. 
So the bars are definitely more chill, but I feel like a lot of the Korean guys, like they would stick to their groups and they don't venture out of that. They don't really approach you. And then the ones that do, they're usually not the good guys. And I feel like a lot of them, they're so sloppy. Like they don't even try. Like I remember there was one time this guy was chatting me up and you know, he seemed like a nice guy, but then like his phone lights up and then I see his wallpaper and it's literally like a picture of him and his girlfriend or something like all hugged up or whatever. And I'm like, oh, you're already have a girlfriend and then he was like oh no you know it's like an old picture that's that we just broke up and i'm like really how stupid do you think i am Oh, the clubs in Korea, just so many memories there. Like the nightlife is so much fun. And I think this is true for like any country. Just don't expect to meet Mr. Right at the club. Um, so I have to admit that like generally like at the clubs, they definitely had like the most like good looking batch compared to like bars and um, whatnot. Uh, but yeah, so then you also have to deal with like the creeper dudes. Like I feel like in the States, they get the hint. Like if you say no, they just like go away, right? But in Korea, I feel like there's so persistent and they're like glued onto your back like a starfish and they just will not leave like you'll give them the evil stare you'll hide behind your friends like none of that works they just like stick around hello <laughs> Another popular app was Meet. It was advertised as an app for Koreans to make global friends, but essentially it was just another dating app. And there were definitely more Koreans on there, so you had like a wider selection. But I would say compared to Tinder, there were more guys on there that just weren't as direct or like straightforward as far as what they were looking for. Like, you know, they kind of put up this whole facade, so that was kind of annoying. Uh, so quick story time. Um, this I met one guy from this app, and it was like the the first and only time I ever got like catfished so it was him like but the picture that he used on his profile must have been like 10 years old or something so it was him so he wasn't pretending to be someone else so I don't know if that still constitutes as catfishing but I feel like it does because when I met him in person it looked like a totally different person than you know from what he used the pictures that he used in his profile um but yeah so you know i'm too nice so you know i stuck through the date and i didn't comment on that but i guess it was pretty obvious like from my facial expressions because i remember like midway through the date he asked me he was like are you like mad at me or something that i do something wrong it was so hilarious super awkward uh but yeah Chogi ponojomyo. sorry what was that Chincha. So the whole concept of booking clubs was completely new to me. I had never even heard of them like prior to Korea. And even like during the times that I went, usually I found out like after the fact that it was indeed a booking club. So basically there are these clubs that like people usually go just with the intention of like having a good time, like a fun night. And they had like all these different concepts. Like there was one that I went to where, you know, they would have like the music playing, like and everyone would be on the dance floor and it would just stop and then everyone goes back to their seats and then it's like mingle time so i guess how it works is that like when you're like dancing on the dance floor like people are scouting each other out and then like once it's mingle time this is like everyone's chance to like step up and talk to whoever you know they're interested in or attracted to um and then there was another one that we went to and i think they had like these little like coaster things and you would flip it on one side and it would tell like them okay you're ready to engage with like other people and you would flip it to the other side and it would mean that you know you're just fine with the people 
at the table already. So, you know, it was just very interesting. And um, I would say that it was definitely geared towards Koreans because I don't think not once that I see like a f another foreigner at these clubs. Um, so in saying that, the majority of guys, they didn't really speak English. Like most of them knew like very little and they would be so shocked, you know, once I busted out in English. But now you're probably wondering where on earth are you supposed to find decent guys then? And I think the best places are either at work or at school. And they also have this thing in Korea called so gating which is basically like blind dates like your friends would uh, set you up with like someone that they know like a mutual friend or something and that's a lot like a lot of times these are the ways that Koreans meet you know their significant other all right so this was just my personal opinion you might have a completely different experience I don't mean to generalize Korean men or anything but you know this was based on like my experiences and you know things I've heard from friends so you know if you enjoyed this video please give it a big thumbs up and please let me know like in the comments below like some of your dating stories and I will see you guys in the next video bye